Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Sips and Tricks, and somebody sent me this uh, emblem, and one that wants to take out the color, and it's a little in-depth. Might take a couple of videos to do, but it's really pretty easy. So I made a copy. You always want to make a copy. I'm going to hit P, put the copy in the center of the page. That way, in case you mess something up, you always go back to the original. So we're going to grab it all, and we're going to go to group, and we're going to ungroup it. Now I'm going to take it, I'm going to left click, right click. And I've got some funny blends going on and a bunch of stuff that's just not going to uh, work very well. So let me back up here and I'm going to go to object and I'm going to group and I'm going to just ungroup it. And then I'm going to left click, right click. Well, Let's right click in black. Now I've got a bunch of stuff that's just not gonna work. So I know that these leaves, let's go up to effects, group, ungroup it all now. The stems of these leaves, so I'm gonna set my nudge factor, let's see how big this thing is. It's, it's less than three, so I'm gonna set my nudge factor to three. And I'm gonna grab that leaf and nudge it out of the way. This way you kind of know you have the leaf. And if while using the nudge distance, you'll be able to get those back. Now, try not to get that blend, because that blend isn't going to do us any good. We're not going to, well, you could, but it's going to be a lot of work to blend those colors. So I'm just getting the leaves out of the way. See if I can't get them all. I got them all. Uh, there's a few more things, and that's why you'd want to copy to just kind of look at it. Uh, this thing, this thing's got a little fancy whoop to do on the, on the dot, and there's, there's a way to do that, but we're not going to go that with this video. Now I'm going to take the outside of the star and try to grab it and move it over. So I got the outline of the object. See if we can't grab this star. I don't need any other of the stuff. So we got the star. Uh, it's going to be a little bit difficult to look at some other things. So I'm going to nudge them down. Don't really need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. I do need this. So I'm going to left click or move it over. And basically I'm getting that inside. I don't really want it. I just want the circles. So let's nudge them over. So anything I don't need, I'm gonna nudge over. Anything I don't need, I'm gonna nudge down. You could use that, but for the video, I'm not gonna go there, and that one's the, what we don't need, so I'm gonna go down. I'm just keeping my hand on the arrow key and moving things over. I don't need that, so I'm gonna move down. This is pretty involved, but it's gonna work. Now I want to just delete the things I do not need. I know I don't need this stuff. I do want that eagle and all the arrows and the everything. I do want those circles. So let's nudge them over. Whoop. I reverted, well, that's three inches. Let me back up here. There we go. I do not need that, so I'm going to go down. I want the circle. And I'm just going to delete that. I don't need it. Now, I don't need this stuff. I don't need this stuff. And if you, if you hold down your Alt key, anything that really touches, it'll... it'll It'll select, so where you can't get all that, but if you hold down your Alt key, you can get it all. I do want that emblem in the middle. So holding down the Alt key will help you select items. You know, items that you can't get. I want all this, but as, as you can see, I've got some blends going on in there, and we don't really need the blend. This is a little more in depth than I was planning on, but 
Move that over. Try to grab that. Good, we got it. Now we need the we need the stars. Whoop. Let me zoom in here a little bit. So this is going to be a little bit tedious, but very easily to do. And we're using the nudge distance. I know I, I'm just putting them right where they belong. Now I'm gra grabbing those stars that are inside that blend. And you can kind of tell because when you get anything else. Now, the other line should be all connected, so I want to try to just grab that blend and delete it. Whoop, I grabbed a little bit too much. Let me see if I can't just grab. See, this is a blend because I'm, I'm hitting on just that one line and I'm deleting all the blends. So they're blending to that thicker line up top. Almost there. Good. Looks good. We're going to knock that to the right. And there, we're going to play with that in a little bit. Now we need the eagle and get rid of this blend in his chest. This might be harder said than done. It says, this was made for a color, and whenever you don't click on something, you get the shape tool, just go back and get your pick tool. And there's a lot of stuff going on in here. I might have to make a second video on that. So, let's do this. Let's take our circle and our shape. I should have grouped that together. Now, here's a good tool to use in this case. We're going to use the freehand pick tool. And I'm going to probably have to lock my star. So we can use the freehand pick tool just to get... And you could probably recreate this. Ooh, I didn't get that one, but I'm gonna move it over. Okay, here's, here's what, whoop, go back to my pick tool. And I'm gonna move this over. I'm gonna try to move this over. I was afraid of that. I should have grouped that together a while ago. Let's see if I can't use the freehand pick tool. See, I'm grabbing, whenever you grab something like that, you grab the stars. So I want to move the stars over again. I should have been thinking about that. And then this time we'll group this banner together. And there's a lot you could do with this, and you could make it as much work or as little work as you wanted. All right, smart thing to do is control G and group it together. And I don't know if I missed a star, but I'm just I'm just showing him how to do it. So what we can do now is grab all this and group it together, control G. And on the original picture, this center part doesn't show the lines. So here's the here's a good trick on this. We're gonna take this item that's grouped together and nudge it back, select them both and go back minus front didn't work, front minus back didn't work but it will work. So what we can do is control D and make a duplicate of it, move it over there. Basically it took it away and then grab that and nudge it over. And now we have that item with nothing inside. Then we've got our emblem, nudge it over. And this is where you're gonna wanna do colors and, and stuff. So let's nudge this over and get rid of these lines in the star. 
So I'm gonna take my virtual segment delete key and delete. Well, remember I locked that star. So go up to object, lock and unlock all. Get your virtual segment delete key and delete that line that's going through that item. So now it looks like it's in front of it. Nudge that over. We're halfway there. I'm gonna stop the video and make a second video on it because this is pretty in depth. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.